Hey, welcome back to Rogue Tech, everybody. We are back at Back LU here, and what we're trying to do today is get up enough cash to finish up our Argo repairs. So we've got the Gamma Pod working now 15 days. We need 1.75 million to finish up our drive system. So if we go to engineering here real quick, um, we've got like 1.72 million we got to get. So we're pretty close. I mean, we got the money here, but we need to go through a financial report first and probably another one before the end of the month. How long does this take to do? 30 days. So we're going to need two financial reports worth of cash. Cash. Our lances are at full strength right now, with the exception of our pirate lance. We still need pilots, but we've got two of the mechs up and running. We've got two more we're going to bring forward once we have pilots. I had a look here in the hiring hall, and there really isn't anybody at this system that we want. Barracuda, maybe 28.8 um, um, thousand sea bills a month is a little bit pricey for my price range, and this guy's at 46. So, and we're not taking these um, the um, specialty mechs here. The Ronins, we're taking just regular uh, mech warriors here. So um, there's nobody here that we're going to really use. So we're going to jump right into a contract then while we're waiting. We got one day before our financial report. So as long as we get enough to make up for that, that'll be good. I'm thinking we're going to do this interdiction mission here. It's an ambush convoy, three and a half skulls. Should be easy enough for our mechs to do. And it's relatively simple an ambush convoy, one lance, and a uh, group of vehicles. There might be some reinforcements later on, but it's unlikely. So let's negotiate this out. We're going to go for maximum salvage again. This should cover our drop cost plus any repairs, I think. Let's accept that. And we're going to go with our main lance. Um, we're going to pull out the second lance. And we're going to go straight with our main lance. I don't want to risk um, damaging too many mechs, so we will take the ones that I know we will be able to pull off a successful mission with. So let's just drop our guys in here real quick. And height and vein skater. Nice. So let's get down there and get this mission done. We're at three skulls. Mission is three and a half. Should be, should be no problem. Alright, here we go. Straight up fight. So we know the we know the layout of this map. We know what we're doing. We're just gonna get in here and uh, make a mess of things here. So let's get height and vein skater moving first. Get them up close. Roger, Skipper. Taking it. Couple max bogies. What do we got here? Do we know? Still unknown. Okay. They could be heavies, or they could have just reserved first turn. Hmm. Sensor lock, eh? We're encountering more and more units with sensor lock. So we're definitely going to have to rely on our recon unit being up front and everybody else being at the back. Hello, so 70 tonner coming in. And, oh yeah, I guess because he's uh, sensor locked, they can see him. Let's get Flatliner down here. Stay behind the rocks if we can. We had problems with Flatliner on this map last time, so we should be careful. 60 ton vehicle. What else do we have here? What's this? 40 ton vehicle and 60 and 70 ton max. So lots of heavies. So that, that if the 60 ton is a quick draw, we've got lots of quick draw parts. That's a thunderbolt. That's a big thunderbolt too. TBM 20 maybe? What's this guy? 65 ton mech? 70 ton are peeling off. Cataract. So that was definitely a uh, a quick draw. So the cataract being spotted, first thing we're going to do is we're going to move height. We're going to sprint up here into the um, mineral field. So not only will we get our evasion, we'll get a bonus for defense here. And we're going to fire straight on this guy. We're going to use everything. Okay. So he's running interception. 
Okay, so the sensor locks on that guy, which is good. So we're going to get Advanced Skater up next. And I think we're going to move him more in the open and we're going to turn his side. Because I want to get see if I can get Flatliner into the, me uh, the mineral field there with the dead fire ammo because he's more dangerous than anybody else right now. So we're going to fire straight on this guy. There goes the right arm. Solid Gauss rifle connection. Okay, let's get Flatliner down here. We can't quite get him in there. So he's going to have to remain in the open, I guess. Unfortunately. And we'll fire everything on this guy. So this cataract is probably going to die this turn. Right torso's gone. Health 3 of 4. Unstable. He'll probably move next, actually. Unless they have still vehicles to go. Oh, he's not moving. So he's going to commit suicide. Oh, he's... Oh, smart. Smart. Good to go. All right, well, I can't target anybody, so let's just move forward as far as we can go. So 60-ton vehicle, we're going to really need to push fast to get ahead of those vehicles. Another 60-tonner. It's the 40-ton vehicle I'm worried most about because he can move pretty far, I imagine. Another cataract. Large laser. Comes the TBM, man. So my question is, is do we want to punch through here? Or do we want to go around? Wherever we go, we're going to have to move together. So he's up here now. Hmm. What's the fastest way to get up there? 60, 60, 95. I have no idea where that 40 went to. So we're going to definitely need to move fast. So maybe we do do that. Try to get as far up there as we can. So let's do this. I'm gonna fire on this guy. He's like pretty crippled here. And we're gonna fire with everything. I got a feeling the next turn we're not gonna be able to do much, so. So our heat should come down. So I wonder if that 4010 vehicle is stuck behind this guy, because it don't sound like he didn't move very far. Yeah, man, I need you to move forward. Let's go forward to here. Full speed, no Gonna unload on this guy. Roger that. Nice! That's two Gauss Rifle hits. He's missing with the pulses, but hitting with the Gauss Rifle. Take that. Yeah, he's crit, crit panical, panic, critical panic Ready. level now, that's for sure. Can we hit him with the missiles from here? We can. That's just if we walk, though. I think we should sprint. How are we doing here? Oh, this is great. That's a good hit chance from here. So we're going to turn slightly. I am the wind. Going to unload on this guy with everything. We want him gone. Ooh. And he bails. Yeah, you, man. What do you mean, not me? There goes those vehicles. Definitely gonna need to get ahead of them. So let's get ground zero into the mineral field here. Actually, I'm gonna put him right here. Roger, full speed. He's been completely ineffectual so far in battle. Since we get eyes on the vehicles though, I think he's gonna do a lot better. Yeah, see the 40 ton vehicle stuck back here. Okay, he's coming in. Yeah. They like that trebuchet, that's for sure. Damage is light. 
Don't worry, I'll cover your backside on the way out of here. Good luck hitting with that. So the 40 tonner stuck back there. Oh, catapult, nice. What's this guy got? Two TBM 15s with no armor. Don't, don't ever underestimate the value of these mineral fields. Plus four targeting to hit on somebody sitting in there uh, is orders, definitely a good thing. So I want to get you up as far as I can get you. I got you. You're going to be cooling off this turn. Here comes that 40 tonner. Finally getting around the 95er. It's okay, you're in the woods and everything, you're good. Relax. So, what are our missiles like? 280, we got lots of missiles left. So I'm going to unload on the uh, catapult over here. Just because we can. Actually, pretty good chances to hit, too. So we're going to fire away. Maybe we get lucky and get a head hit. Nah. Okay, Van Skater. Sprint that up as well. Understood. Moving fast. Okay, so we're in a position where we can intercept that convoy now. Poe, Light Goss. Standing by. Okay, we're going to move forward. And if this guy wants to engage, we'll engage right back. How you like me now? You definitely don't want to move to a position where we can see you, man. Yeah, time to go. LRM-10? Is that what that was? Looks like it. So I think, I think we can get over this hill and up this way. I don't think we have to go around this way. Here comes those TBMs. Those things do 60 damage each, I believe. So he's a fire and move catapult, okay. 95 tonner. All right, let's see what we can do here. Um, I want to try and get these vehicles out of the way with as fast as possible. 136, so it's not too bad armor. This guy's got less. So... These catapults can take forever to get around to where we are, So or cataract, I mean. So let's do... Confirm. This first. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? We're going to reserve. Let's see where those guys go. Going to give them a shot on us. Ooh, well. Yeah, you stinkers. All right, well, Commander. let's start this way. Can we see... Let's start like this. I've got eyes on the target. So do I, buddy. Let's start like this. We're going to fire everything. Goodbye. Boom. Vehicle trashed. Alright, what next? 60 tenner, coming back for some more. You gotta come back with more than that, buddy. He's still completely unstable, too. Alright, let's decide now what we're gonna do. Light will be done. Um, I'm thinking... Can we get... That we're going to go this route. Roger that. Get him in the mineral field. I know it's plus two for us to hit, but on vehicles it's a lot easier to hit them. So we're going to fire everything on this guy. I'm hoping these missiles do enough. There we go. Okay, good. So now we're ahead of the game here. This is what happens when you hang out with bad people. It is what happens when you hang out with bad people. So an Ontos Mark IV. As long as you're firing LRMs, buddy, we're happy. As long as you don't got like six LRM twenties. 
So he's got a lot of direct fire weapons, some half decent armor. Not better than any of the other guys though. So let's see if we can actually see him. We can totally see him. Uh, let's move into cover. And I'm going with this guy first because we got that pin big ping point damage. And if we hit with that, we can pretty much take this guy out. Uh, of course, I should have not have been saying that out loud. Because that's what happens. Okay, cataract moving around. Looks like I'm going to have to face the, the uh, quick draw and catapult by myself over there. So let's move into here. Affirmative, Commander. And as much as I'd like to multi-target, I think maybe I can. I can't multi-target with height. I forgot about that. So let's leave this one laser off. We'll fire the rest. That should be enough. Nope. Wow. Okay. Yeah, man. You do you. Is he going to move? He's not going to move. Bad choice, buddy. So how do we do on this guy? Pretty close to killing him. Okay. So... Right, because we reserved. Um, what are your orders, Skipper? My orders is to finish that vehicle off, buddy. Finish it off. Copy that, Commander. Unload everything on it. I want it gone, please. Should be able to do it this time. There we go. It had a lot of weaponry on it. It had to go. Crawler destroyed. Thank you. He's got tons of evasion, so we don't have to worry about it. Light SRM carrier coming in. Should be three SRMs and something on here, right? Oh, five SRMs. Those things can be really, really dangerous. Especially if you don't have a lot of evasion. Like, if I only had one evasion pip there, that guy would have wrecked me. Okay, so... Let's go with Flatliner next. Actually, let's see how much armor this guy's got here. Not a whole lot. So, let's split the attack here. I'm going to move... Um, really? Do I really want to do this now? Hmm. i got to move to get some kind of evasion going, but I need to be able to target both of these guys. So maybe up here. Double time. Let's go. And we're going to multi-target. We're going to fire against the SRM carrier. And against this guy over here. And I don't think we can reach. Or we can reach with B. What? It's lower chance. So A against the SRM carrier and B on the guy in the top there. Roger. So that vehicle's gone. Get to the LZ for extraction. Now do we get a knockdown on this guy? Nope. Solid connection on that one. It's okay, we'll finish him up in a second. Okay, Flatliner. Let's finish this up, guys, and go home. So, let's come around behind to this catapult. And deal some devastating fire from behind. You never want to turn your back on somebody with dead fire ammo, especially when you got Parabellar M15s. Okay. Yes, Commander. Uh, let's just back it up a little bit. Vision confirmed. Get some stability back and finish this guy up. Roger. So it's just a cataract left now. Let's do this. Tango down. I don't want to let him get into melee range. What's he doing though? Hmm. I await your command. Let's take a turn and cool off. So let's not worry about getting right in on him. We're going to move down, take a turn to cool off here a little bit. Ready to rock. There's no sense rushing it. Standing by. Let's just get you in the trees for now. Going. Let's see what he does here. Okay, he's coming back my way. What's up, boss? The question is, can I get a shot on him? I can. I can get in the woods, too. So we're going to do that. I don't think he's in range to run up and get me. So what kind of armors are we talking about here? AC-10, which is where? 
Maybe we just target the AC-10. Large laser. There's the AC-10 there with 15 rounds. So let's do... Let's do an offensive push on this guy. We're going to go for his right torso. And we'll leave the pulse lasers off and fire everything else. Okay, head hit. Oh, it's on now. Sound like Donkey Kong. Alright, so let's move up, guys. Get the ATMs firing at them. Just gonna fire them. Got the ammo now, so I might as well just do it. Bane Seder, sprint up. So if he survives to the end of this turn, he won't probably survive to the end of the next turn. So, actually, I don't even think I need to move from here. Can I use the dead fire? I can. This is fire everything. No point in moving unless you have to. Okay. So he's unstable. Just going to move over here. I know I'm getting a little too close, but uh, that's okay. So we're going to offensive push again. Going to go for the torso. Or should I go for the head? No, let's play it safe. Torso. That should do it. There we go. Nice. Let's see what we get. Alright, 119,000. Not bad. Should cover our repairs. And 14k in experience pretty much across the board there. Alright, lots of cataract parts. Excellent. Quick draw, possibility, and... One catapult part? Yeah, okay, let's see what else there is here. AC-10 with bonus range, Gauss rifle, heavy machine gun. Ooh, a couple of bonus medium lasers. Evasion, ignore, and accuracy. I'm going to drop those in in case there's nothing else down here. Uh, what else do we got here? Primitive cockpit? No. Heavy pharaoh. Ooh. it's a lot of reserve slots, though. Although, if we throw it on one of our lighter mechs... Interesting. Fusion core for cash. Artemis. Should we grab? We don't have any in stock right now. Maybe we should grab an Artemis. Just so we've got one lying around. So let's drop it in. And the medium laser, do we really need it? I think I want to take that heavy pharaoh. See if we can do anything with that. Let's grab that. I think that's pretty good. Let's confirm this. Cataract part, nice, which means we might have a cataract now, maybe? Cataract, maybe? Quick draw part, I think we might have a quick draw, actually. Let's find out right now. That mech is ready to fight. Ooh, cataract, there we go. Franken mech, because it's got a little bit of everything stitched together on it. Somehow repaired by a bunch of, bunch of pirates. There's spikes everywhere, even in the chassis. Quirk, spiky, okay, cool, there's a melee mech. And that's it. Oh, we didn't get the quick, we didn't get the, uh... Quick draw, that's okay though. Karita versus Outworlds. Torians versus Restoration. Magistry Merrick. Sir Kenneth and Steiner. Steiner. Man, Hegemony versus Lothian League again. Jesus, look at these guys. They're fighting all the time. Okay, 16k. And there's our financial report, 610,000. Not bad. We got 1.5 million left. Going to stay in the center here. All right. So that was a pretty good mission overall. Let's check out our, our uh, mech bay here. We're definitely going to need to get a th our third mech bay up and running very shortly. So we got a cataract here. Let's see what we got here. Or cataphract, I guess you would call it. But I like calling it a cataract. All right, let's see what we got. We got ammo for the AC-10. Let's just repair really quick and see what's left in here. Oh, the fusion core came along with it, which is nice. Although it's single heat sink, still though, it's still nice to get the fusion core. Spike cockpit, plus 10% melee. We could build a melee mech. I know I sold most of my melee stuff and I don't really like melee mechs, but we might build one with this guy. We'll see, what kind of hard points are we looking at here? So two, three, four, well, I guess it's up here, five laser hard points, one ballistic. Um, chance for some jump jets, a couple of other hard points. 
So not bad at all, not bad. So we're gonna just confirm the repair on this. It's 10 days, 157,000. So finally a 70 tonner that we can uh, actually use. So now we have two heavy max, which is excellent. Um, figure out what we're gonna do with this guy. I know our light lance, we're planning on doing all light mechs. So we're gonna have to pull out probably one of the mediums from somewhere. Either, tre either the trebuchet 5S. It's not really this cataract because then there's no missile hard points. It's not really a replacement for much. Maybe we just re re replace the uh, pirate vindicator here with it. I think that's probably the best bet. It is the lightest mech that we have. And it doesn't really... PPC triple plus, LRM 15 clan, ER medium. So there's not a lot on there, but we can do a lot more with the cataract. So I think that's what we'll do is we'll replace this one with the cataract once this is up and running. But for now, we're going to end the episode here. And uh, if you like it, please feel free to leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I'm going to try and get back to doing two a day. Um, once we get to episode 50, we should have our KF drive up and running. And once that is up and running, we're going to attempt to uh, start jumping on our own. I'd rather do that than have to pay the 25 grand to jump every time. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Although I'm sure after uh, we make a few few jumps, we'll be paying 25 grand in parts just to keep this damn thing flying. So um, until next time, I'll see you later.